So on his week 63, day 4. On the arena. Okay, mm. like so, it's good. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I already did that, didn't I? Boom. Nice. All right. So many bang users. Huh. And, uh, yeah. What the hell? Crack bang. Bang and Seraphine. I don't know. Can paralyze with the sorrow. This is quite slow. Yeah. Nope, not sure if he's too high awake. 
I guess I can face you. I have Psaro against Psaro and against Omegas eventually. Alright. Falling so against Jade and Baron. Archdemon against Tingis and Psaro. Okay, this is not super fantastic here. Nocturne is good, I suppose. So I neutralize Psaro with, with my Psaro. I have Archdemon. I guess I should keep the shade here. No one is weak to snooze, so I don't think I have any reason to run. Baron here. Just need to go ahead and pray that my J goes for evasion, I suppose. Large demons should be quite efficient anyway. And Crimson Cuts should do a decent job too. But yeah, I have a Jade against um, Baron too. It's great. It's great. I guess Nocturnus is good against Psaro too. And against Jade, I have Valencia and I have Crimson Cuts. Kingis is fine. I guess I have Psaro and uh, Archdemon. And of course, Omega is not. Big issue. Also, I have Psaro too, eventually, with my Crimson Kiss. So, yeah. Nocturne is good against Psaro too, I think. Like something like Archdemon into Psaro and into Nocturne, maybe that's gonna be enough for him against him. I like the Valencia pick here against um, Baron Jade. Yeah, I think I think we're good, Yengis. I don't think Yengis is a big issue to be honest. But uh, yeah, could be a problem. We'll see. We will find out. Um, Want to give you this? Let me check the agility. 501 477 for knocked I think it's good 485 yeah I think I think I think it's good we'll find out Nice, he's really slow, even with his um, youngest, with uh, 425 agility. Baron has 360, it's cringe actually. 432, but it's too slow for my team. Now, what about you? 1500 HP with this skin, Crimson Cuts plus 5, what the hell? And. Um, Okay. Interesting. Are these your toughest units, man? Because, uh, yeah. Got a lot of work to do. My main, my, my man, my dude.
Maybe I want to double. Who is weak to. Who is freeze resistant? Not you, of course. Oh, no. Okay. But he's gonna this guy is gonna have to hit someone no matter what unless you are here oh yeah okay interesting interesting stuff right here that looks good maybe I can paralyze them both that would be sweet, not gonna lie. Maybe you can come here. What about the Jade? What can she do? I don't know. What's I think she's neutral to wish and zap. Yep. Maybe like this. I think it's okay to do that. I just reposition everyone together, like uh, to the left. Yeah, I think so. Not super accurate, but... Um, Okay. Maybe here. No. I would be in range of Axis of Evil. I don't want that. I don't want to risk uh, crits. So just stay back. They'll come to me anyway. It's fine. Nice. Very nice. Maybe I don't even have to go for um, a double burning breath here, double burning breath proc here. If you can just go for a crimson cuts, yeah, I think that's the best choice to be honest. I do believe so. I mean, yeah, of course it's the best choice. So I wanted to give the little ship to my Jade on next turn, but I think it would be a little bit too hazardous for my Valencia. So it's fine. Just not being ready is a good idea. But although we get the Evil Glint here, but we're out of Baron's range now, so it's fine. Just do the Kazap onto the Nocturnus, so we're good. We're good, we're good. Alright, so maybe 
the wolfiness here. Yeah, it's better. Oh, perhaps, although perhaps I should... Nah, I mean, I have... Um... Archer Demon against uh, the... The... Uh... Genghis... And um, okay, so what's gonna happen here is um. How will I kill you? Yengis, I can kill you with my jade, I guess. Wait, wait a minute. I can kill you with my jade, right? Jade and not. It will kill you. Oh, but I have um, Valencia too against you. So Valencia and jade should be enough. So just uh, attack you instead. Oh, but now I don't have a range against the Baron. What am I thinking? That's bad, that's really bad. Really poor plays right there. Yeah, that was poorly played. But yeah, I can still bait the, uh, the Baron on my Psyro, so it's perfect. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's 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 great because he's my highest HP unit. So yeah, it's fantastic. Darkness does not one shot, so maybe I should go for the confusion play to make things even safer, I guess. It's rare though, so it's unlikely. Yeah, just go for the Giga Break on Deep Sarrow. And let's say he crits me, whatever, I would be fine, because he's invincible, right? And defense down now. And I have uh, the LT here. There you have it. It's without the little ship. With the little ship, it would have been like 1100. Maybe more. So that was the second match. Now to the last match. All right, Seraphi one zero with the LTF. This team is affordable, even though there is a Seraphi, which is boring. Here there is a cover, which is not so great, but Dijuant is fucking annoying. Kiteri is boring, Jessica is such a pain, and the Red Robin Hood is a big nope for me. Alright, um, Alina, GD, Dol, but the Psaro is a pain. I'd rather not face him, and this guy is fantastic to face, actually. Should have checked that earlier. 
Yeah, I know this guy is a good guy. He's a good guy. Can trust me. Jade, maybe Valencia. I don't know about Valencia. Maybe Baron instead. I mean, no, it's, it's, it's whatever. Let's just go for that. Mm, I was thinking Devil Finesse perhaps, but Purgate was enough because he's uh, weak, I think. Right? Yeah. So yeah, there you have it guys. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.